percent of a nationality? Does that even make sense? What is a five percenter? We five percent of a nation. What does that even mean? Five percent of of uh, this world's knowledge. The Bible gives us all the knowledge that we need, right? Uh, 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 Islam. Our people involved in Islam, right? All kind of stuff. Christianity. White man Jesus, right? Woe unto the rebellious city, right? They take counsel, but not of the Most High. But in all these false doctrines, right? And they're covered with a covering, uh -huh. but not of my spirit. The Bible says we cover ourselves within our sins. We cover ourselves with these idolatries of this world. We cover ourselves with it. We are laden with sin. We cover ourselves with all of these wicked things of this world. That they may add sin to sin. And you know the main reason why we cover ourselves with it? Because it's comfortable. We love it. We lust in it. We add what? That they may add sin to sin. The Bible says we add sin to sin. Give me that scripture that's talking about how we oppose ourselves. We oppose ourselves. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, where that scripture at? 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 25. Yeah, give me that one. The Bible says uh, we add sin to sin. What do you think that means? That's it. We add sin on top of sin. We add sin on top of sin. And we can do that to each other. That's how we show hatred for each other. So that means that if, if I was in the midst of adultery, right? I got a wife at home, but I want to sleep with that brother's wife. Right, I want to sleep with your wife. So what is that cause? Not only am I destroying your family and my family, breaking all of the spirits that look up to me, my sons and my daughters and my wife, and the brothers that follow me knowing that yeah. I keep the commandments. Not only am I follow, not only me, not only am I destroying everything that uh that uh that follows after me as I follow Christ, but I'm also destroying everything that you represent. Right. I'm also uh, destroying all your babies, all your children who are supposed to be my nephews and nieces. You see what I'm saying? So we add and sin to sin, and guess what you liable to do? You probably liable to put one in me. You probably liable to lay me down, shoot me. Why? Because I slept with your wife. That's plaguing all throughout our communities. But guess what? These churches not teaching it. Why not? It's a church on every block in the hood, but nothing has changed in our communities. You can find a church here and there, everywhere. Everywhere. The white man church. Bring it out. He's not going to teach you this. The black man's church is only the white man's church because that's who set it up. Right. That's who set it up. They confuse us every day and we add sin to sin to sin to sin. It's sin all throughout Booker T. I went to the school. It's, this school is not even for us. Not only do they teach us false education, but they also promote whoredom. They also promote whoredom as well. You got teachers sleeping with, uh, with, with young children. I knew brothers who was doing that. We thought it was a cool thing. Oh yeah, yeah, you bagged the teacher. That's not a cool thing. That's, 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 that's going rampant through our communities, bro. Exactly. It's a system. It's systematic, right? This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 25. Uh-huh. And meekness, instruction, correction, instructing, instructing those that oppose themselves. Right. And humbling ourselves, right, according to the laws of God. It says we must come out here and instruct those that oppose themselves. We must instruct them that hurt themselves. Just like a drug addict out here, they they know exactly what they doing, but then it gets to a point after getting high, now they addicted to it. Now they hurting themselves. Now, now you look at mama and daddy and uncle uh, such and such in a certain way that they don't even know who they are anymore. They not there anymore. They oppose themselves, they're hurting themselves to a point to where they gotta go check in the hospital because they can't control themselves. They can't be alone by themselves without scratching and thinking about that, that next high they gotta get. They'll leave their babies on a piss infested bed, right? While they getting high and strung out. We are here to help those that oppose themselves. This right here, I don't know if you can see that sis, but this is our people. 
The blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. These people oppose themselves. These people of God who are in every hood. All right, brother. These people of God that are in every hood that we fill up, our communities, we oppose ourselves. We hurt ourselves. Teach. Read that again. Flee us, correction, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. Uh -huh. If God preventure will give them repentance. We give them what? Repentance. What does it mean to repent? To the acknowledging of the truth. To the acknowledging of the truth. That's what repentance is. Before you give me, uh, give me John 8 and 32. It says to the acknowledging of the truth. Repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. You must acknowledge what it means uh, to to uh, to truly repent according to the Most High, according to His laws. You know how you know exactly what it means to repent, bro. We're gonna show you today, cause it's good. It's good like the you just did with the scriptures there. You said I simply do not know. You understand that you're an Israelite, right? It's brothers out here that understand they're Israelite. That's their nationality through and through. They they proud. But at the same time, they be like, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And they don't help themselves. Believe you believe there's one God, the one and true God of Israel, right? And we're going to show you something today. We want you to continue in your process of repentance. All right? We don't want you to die here in America because destruction is coming here. We want you to live. We want you to survive the destruction that is to come through Christ. You understand? This is the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32. Uh-huh. And ye shall know the truth. Shall know the what? The truth. What is the truth? And the truth shall make you free. The truth will set you free. The truth will deliver you from the destruction that is to come to this place. We're going to give you the exact uh, 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 definition of what the truth is. The exact definition of what the truth is. All right? Because everybody claimed they got the knowledge of what the truth is, right? From all these different religions that our people, the Israelites, are involved in, right? They call themselves Moors. They call themselves all kinds of names, right? But we're going we gonna to finally say, the end all say all. This is what the truth is. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Uh-huh. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Uh-huh. God's righteousness is everlasting. Everlasting. Non-ending. And thy law, I uh, know what? And thy law, the laws, is the truth. The laws of God is the truth. The laws of God is the truth. The church says that God's laws are done away with. That doesn't make any sense at all. The laws of God are done away with, so you can keep the white man's law, but you don't want to keep God's laws. Right. Right? What sense does that make? Teach. How are we going to keep? How are we going to keep the so-called white man's laws when he's a simple law is like stop at the stop sign? Is that law not needed? Otherwise, people getting crashes, babies dying, people flying, right? Right? That's a simple law. But, oh, the church say the law is done away with. Can I run a stop sign? No, you're going to go to jail, right? You're going you're gonna, to uh, you're gonna, you're gonna get that ticket, right? The simplest of laws, our people don't like order. That's what it is. That's what it boils down to. Our people don't like order. Read that again. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Uh-huh. And thy law is the truth. Now give me uh give me uh give me in the apocrypha uh give me what is it? Sirach 46, 20, I think it is. How do we govern a body of people without laws? How is that possible? Um, it goes into what the laws is. It seems like most of these laws for the black man anyway. Right, I mean, it's to govern everyone. Right. It's to govern everyone. Because you can't have a society without laws. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever, right? It doesn't make any sense. 46. Fourteen. Fourteen, yep. All right, so... We need laws to govern a body of people. This is common sense. So when the church say that the laws are done away with, they really don't understand what they're saying. Right? At the end of the day, they just know. They just, the only understanding that they have is when they say the laws are done away with is that, okay, I can be the freak now. 
That's all they saying. When the laws are done away with, oh, the black man can do what the hell he want to do. He can smoke weed. He, he can get high. He can, uh, he can go ahead and hoe out his daughters, right? He can go ahead and plague his community, sell drugs and all of that mess. That's what it means. Essentially, that's what the church is, is advocating. Without laws, you cannot govern a body of people, a nation. Bring it out. Bro. Bring it out. This is Book of Sirach, chapter 46 and verse 14. Read. By the law of the Lord, he judged the congregation. He does what? He Read that again. By the law of the Lord, he judged the congregation. By the laws of God, God judges the congregation. It don't get no simpler than that. By the laws of God, the Most High judges the congregation. And the Lord had respect unto Jacob. Unto who? Unto Jacob. That's what make us special. The laws, the heathen, the heathen, everyone outside. Come check it this sign right here, brother. Oh, I see him in New York. Outside of these people right here, the Most High did not give any other laws. The laws were given to these people and these people alone. That's right. You understand that? That's what make us special. Give me that in Deuteronomy. Give me that in Deuteronomy. That's what separates you from every other person on this earth. Outside of these people right here, God's chosen people, he doesn't care about anybody else. These are special people that he's given laws to. That's what makes them special. That's what separates them from everybody else. Everybody else meaning who? The so-called white man, right? The Arab man, the Chinese, the Japanese, and all these other heathens. Right? That's what separates us because we have God-given laws to govern ourselves. We don't, we should not be acting like the way we act today. Now you will see the treatment of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.